This is Making the Show, all about the process of making a world-class tabletop web series. And today we're fixing my broken 3D printer, a Prusa Mini Plus. I have two 3D printers. One is a Prusa i3 Mark II S. I absolutely love it. I have never really had any problems with it. It's printed over 22 kilometers of filament and for over 300 days of print time. It's also fairly easy to maintain. At one point, the heater block wore out, but I knew that and was just able to replace it. And I also have a Prusa Mini Plus, which ran really great at first, but now is broken. The problem is that after two hours of printing, it fails. It's some kind of under extrusion problem. I put the blue tape on here to show where it's happening in this print. It's failed at the same point every time. When I first got it, it printed perfectly and then it began failing every time two hour mark. The theory is that the hot end assembly, which is not as big as on the Mark II S, doesn't soak up heat as well or dissipate it. And so after two hours of printing, there's too much heat, parts begin to expand and contract, and then you get an under extrusion jam. Here you can see the flow of the filament as it's supposed to pass, and right at that spot there is where the under extrusion jams and clogs up the whole thing. There's a PTFE tube that's hidden inside the hot end assembly, and here you can see some filament as it's pushed in backwards and where it's clogged up at the end. It just can't flow, it backlogs, and then all of a sudden the whole thing jams up and won't print anymore. I need to give a huge shout out to the Prusa forums and a YouTuber named Steam Labs who discovered that if you loosen these grub screws and then push the heater block further up, then you'll keep the PTFE tube under compression. The printer has been sitting idle for the last several months and as a result, the filament inside of it became brittle, I'm supposing from moisture and started falling to pieces. So my ability to actually unload it the natural way failed. So I'm gonna have to do it manually. I never normally have problems with this filament, so it's not a bad batch. It's just been sitting in there for a while and has just become brittle. but this chewed up portion here is a result of the jam not allowing the filament to be pushed through and the motor is just grinding on it. Again, this is not bad filament. It just became brittle from moisture. And there's the clog that was sitting in the print head. This PTFE tube is the problem. It's not sitting flush with the hot end assembly at the bottom once it gets up to temperature after two hours. Also, the orientation of this is important, so remember how it goes in. Yeah. 
The next step is to reset the height of the Minda probe. It needs to be one millimeter higher than the nozzle. And as you can see here, it's far too low. If the Minda probe is far too high, then the nozzle will actually crash into the print bed and damage it. So it's very important it be the right height. I found this great little tool online that I printed on my other printer in order to calibrate the height for the Minda probe. There's a link in the description along with a link to the Prusa forums where I found the solution that Steam Labs had posted whose video was invaluable for how to fix my printer. Now I am back to printing 3D terrain for the tabletop web series. I am super excited that the 3D printer is now working because it means I can print things and that I no longer have a giant paperweight. And I also want to give a huge, huge shout out to all of our patrons. You mean the world to us. You help make this channel possible. Thank you so much for your support. If you're watching this and you haven't already and you like the content we're making, please subscribe. It helps us grow. It helps us spread the word about all the fun stuff we have in store, including a show coming later that we're making the show. It's about the show we're making. Anyway, okay. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.